So, um, I actually did this beforehand and I forgot to film. But I just went in with the Makeup Revolution Eye Primer. It's just a shimmery white primer, a very sheer one. And I sprayed it out with either a brush or a mini beauty blender. And I wanted this Manica Dar Beauty Eye Candy Priming Shadow Stick, which is just an eyeshadow primer stick in the shade Sugar. And I just drew some lines brought up to my brow bone and blended it out with a brush and my finger toward the end. And this kind of gives us a little more color and made it, um, it made it so that we have a little bit of an extra sticky base just to help, just to give our shadow a fighting chance. So I'm going to be taking the LA Colors, which is a dollar star brand matte eyeshadow in the shade Pink Chiffon. Um, this just has a white, a light pink, a kind of tan orangey, a darker pink, and a brown. And I'm going to be taking a fluffy blending brush. This is the Max Studio blending brush. You can also use a crease. Well, actually no, I would recommend one of these fluffy brushes. And I'm just going to be taking that brown as my transition shade. I'm just going to put some on my brush. And I'm doing this before my face makeup. So we can do the fallout or cover it up. So I'm just going to be um, going in from my inner corner, kind of on my crease but winging it out a little. I don't know if you can tell. And we're just doing the top, we're not like connecting the bottom or anything. And I'm just going over multiple times. Helping out that wing. There we go. And I just do kind of winged out that transition. Let me get a little white. Hold up. Just keep breathing, 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 breathing. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean up my brush. Um, I did. I do have the Mac or something like that. Started with an M. Um, color switch thing where you just wipe your brush in it and it like cleans it um but I don't know where it went um I did have my I think I mentioned this in a previous video I took apart my well I didn't take apart but I kind of like dumped everything out of my Alex 5 drawers and everything just scattered on the floor until I get my new desk slash vanity it's just going to be like a normal desk like one on top and I'm going to get another Alex drawer but I just, I like dumped it out and a lot of my products are lost. Like I can't find my, um, my Fix Plus, which is kind of weird because it's a huge thing. But whatever. It's like a huge, huge, um, what's it called? Huge spray. Um, by the way, I like put on, um, acrylic nails and painted them. I hope you like them. They're like metallic. Um, and they're pretty long, too. Um, so next I'm going to be going in with this. This is kind of a duo. I'm going to take, this is my Shanae or Shani makeup brush set. Came with some face brushes and eye brushes. This is the number four brush. It's just a kind of smaller, flat brush. And, well, I'm going to use this later. I'm going to be taking this LLC or Lock um, Liquid Shimmer Shadow, which is just a liquid eyeshadow in the shade Eclipse. And this is kind of goldy color, rose goldy. And it's just a Dofa applicator. I believe this is from like Sephora. But I don't know, I had this for a while. And I'm just going to be taking it on from my inner corner and kind of cutting my crease. Like a half cut crease. And it does become a little silver when you apply it. So if you're trying to do this, either buy this exact shadow. Don't know if they sell it still. But if they do, definitely pick it up. And then, or just kind of like buy rose gold, gold, or silver. Just kind of experiment. 
It looks gold on camera, but it looks kind of silver. And we all oh, looks like actually kind of gold when it dries. So it's like silver and then dries gold. Okay, that's cool. Good to know. I'm gonna let that dry because if I open my eye, it'll be like having a liquid liner. It'll just smudge on top. So I'll be right back when it dries. And so. Let me just tap that to kind of A, dry it, and B, make it a little tacky. Actually, I don't know why I'm going to make it tacky. I'm going to kind of blend that in a little bit. Um, and cream products are kind of hard to blend. So this is what we have going on. Kind of a half cut crease with this liquid shadow and a winged out brown transition. I'm going to be taking these Smashbox um, Limitless 15 hour wear cream shadow in the shade gemstone, which is this nice kind of bronzy color. It's in a glass bottle. It's kind of this bronzy, similar to Ashley. It's more of like a brown of my nail color in real life, if you can tell. I have a pretty yellow light. I'm going to be taking that brush that I mentioned, the Shanae number no. 4 brush from the makeup brush set. And I'm going to be taking some on my brush, some of this cream shadow. By the way, this is an amazing cream shadow. Definitely go pick this up if you can. I believe they have, like, wherever they sell Smashbox, Ulta, Sephora, online probably. So I'm just going to be taking some on my brush. I don't know why I topped it. And then I'm just going to be going, um, kind of cutting my crease, um, and kind of adding that and blending it into our half cut crease kind of area. So we have like a nice gradient going on and kind of round it out to like the shape of my eyeball. And it does become kind of like a dark metallic brown, like in a way a bronzy kind of color. Not exactly like a penny, but you know, a dark brown metallic, well, yeah, a browny, purpley, bruisey kind of color. Definitely metallic. And I'm going to be blending that into our liquid shadow and just kind of rounding it out here. So now that we have that done, it kind of looks like a black eye, but we're kind of going for a more smoky toned, um, vibe. This is more of a fall look. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, and then I'm going to bring this transition color down to my lower lash line a little bit and I'll be back. So I just took that brown shade again from our LA Colors palette with this Mac Studio smudge brush and I just kind of brought it down to my lower lash line and connected it to the wing. Um, next I'm, oh let me close my Smashbox shadow. So, next I'm just going to be taking the dark pink next to the brown in my LA Colors palette. And I'm just going to be taking a little on the tip of my smudge brush and just kind of going right above but not too, like, too much, like a kind of thin layer above my transition up here, which I guess would be a transition color, I think, but it's kind of like a transition for a transition, and kind of blending that into the bottom, bringing it down to the lower lash line, and then cleaning off my brush again. And that's kind of what we have going for now. I'm still going to be doing lashes and lips. I just have a brown transition with a pink kind of over top, a bronzy metallic cut crease, and on the other half, it's a cut crease, um, a kind of goldy silver. So I'm going to put on the Ardell Studio Effect Demi Wispies, and I'll be right back. So... Next, so I just put on the Ardell Studio Effects Demi Wispies. Very long, I didn't cut them. Because I like how long they are. I'm just going to be taking like a little makeup sponge or like a cotton round. Kind of dapping out that excess. The fallout. 
And now for lips. Um, now for lips, I'm gonna be taking this Grimmel Clear Balm Keep Common Shop. It's just in clear. Or you can take a nude lip, but. And then a lip gloss of Claire's. Bye!